Good morning, YouTube. All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to do a crispy new potato tossed with a little Dijon, garlic, a little bit of bacon. Oh, so good. All right, let's cook, y'all. We've got a family to feed. All right, nobody doesn't love potatoes. At least not at my house. All right, so what I have right here is boiling water, right? That's just a saucepan whoop, of boiling water. Ta-da! And I'm gonna throw in about a tablespoon of salt, which y'all hush, I know it's a lot, but most of it's gonna go right down the drain. And then right here, I have a pound and a half of new potatoes. You can use all red, all white, you can use little blue ones, nobody cares, as long as they're just the little potatoes. And we're throwing these in here, and these are not gonna cook all the way in this water. We're only gonna give them about four or five minutes, okay? Then we're gonna drain it and cut them open. Halves or quarters or what have you. Some of these are big enough that we'll have to quarter them. Some of them are small enough that a half will be just fine. Okay, so in my skillet here, on medium heat, I'm gonna dice, well I already diced it, <laughs> I'm not gonna dice. I'm gonna cook off about six ounces of bacon. And I took the slices of bacon, I laid it out on my cutting board, I just ran my knife down through it. So you end up with pieces like this, and then when you stir them together, can y'all see that? The lines don't show, do they? When you stir it as you cook them, they all break apart, and you end up with perfect little Bacon bits, right? But real bacon. Which is so much better than the bake. Alrighty. So all we're doing here, we're letting those... Okay, so I let our potatoes go for, you know, just a few minutes. And then I drained them. And over here behind us, Cut them all in half. Can we see that? Da, 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 half. Okay. And then our bacon got all nice and crispy, and I'm over here guarding it. <laughs> so people don't take the bacon they're not supposed to touch. See, here's our bacon. Drain it off on paper towels. And there was probably a half a cup of bacon grease left over in the pan. So I drained off most of it. I left myself a couple tablespoons. And I put it back on. Well, now I'm putting it back on. <laughs> Medium low, okay? So here's what our skillet looks like. You leave all the brown stuff in there. That brown stuff, guys, that's just flavor. It's perfect, it's beautiful, you wanna hold on to it. All right, so what I'm doing right this second is peeling a couple cloves of garlic right here. Well, I'm letting my pan get hot because I didn't do it a second ago, even though I meant to. And in this case, I really don't want the potatoes to steam. You want to get crispy. You want to get that nice caramelized, crispy exterior. Now, we did simmer them in the boiling water and I drained them. And then as soon as I drained them, I went ahead and laid them all out on a cutting board so that, that they could kind of dry out. Um, can see. Can you see this? Can you see how it's kind of dried? No, you can't. Why is this? Ryan, why did I spend this much money on a camera? I don't either. Okay, anyway, trust me, they got dry. All right, so what we're going to do is get our garlic press. We're going right down into our bacon grease. Oh, yeah. You do want the sizzle. Sizzle means you're hot enough. I don't know how hot you are, but it means your pan's hot enough. <laughs> oh, come on, that was funny. <laughs> All right, audience of one here. All right, so here's our garlic, right? And then working kind of quickly, we're taking our potatoes and we're going cut side down 
right in there. And it's gonna take a minute. That's all right. Our potatoes cooked some, but not all the way through in the salted water. So this is where you're gonna finish off. <clears throat> we're letting them go cut side down because that's where we want the crispy bits to get. So here's what we look like so far, see? Single layer. I'm just gonna keep doing that with the rest of the potatoes. How beautiful is that? That's pretty perfect. In my own humble opinion, which, seriously. <laughs> you can't disagree with that. All right, let me find a little one right here. Oh my gosh, y'all. Perfect, absolutely perfectly done. I could eat that every day, dang. That's how you cook a potato, right there. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. And if you thought that video was helpful, do me a huge favor. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. And if you have a second, hop on over to Patreon and check out how to support my channel even more. Again, thanks for watching. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. And if you thought that video was helpful, do me a huge favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. And if you have a second, hop on over to Patreon and check out how to support my channel even more. Again, thanks for watching.